Hello, it's Sunday afternoon and all the uh, wall framing is complete. I'm going to try to do a little video tour. I approached the house from the northeast. This is the front porch. <coughs> the front porch is 10 feet wide, 60 feet long. It will have six columns, six square columns. As you can see across the front there is there are eight three by six windows and one three by eight door. We're going to go in the front door. <clears throat> when you come in the front door, you will approach a great room. Uh, I'm in the living room portion. To the left is the uh, guest suite. To the right is the master suite. Uh, in the living room here, there are three three windows across the front. And if I go in the back, that green pipe there is the fireplace vent. So that's where the fireplace will be. And we're walking through the fireplace and we're in the dining room. Again, in the dining room there are one, two windows and a door. And over here, this is the kitchen. The kitchen has a large uh, island and uh, over here will be the refrigerator. Here will be the stove and the sink. And over here there is one window and then you go into a pantry. The pantry has a window and it is about, oh, eight feet by nine feet. So now we come back out of the kitchen. <clears throat> First I'll go over to the master suite on the north side of the house. <clears throat> Here you can enter the master suite and the master suite is a corner bedroom with two windows on the east and two windows on the north. Making a small turn, you'll be entering through a pocket door into the master bathroom here. On your right is a walk-in shower stall. No door, it'll be handicap accessible. Next to it will be a, uh, a large tub, a tub with a window, and uh, it'll be a freestanding tub. To the left, this little pocket will be for the toilet. There will no be, be no door on it because we want it handicapped accessible. There will be a double lavatory here. Moving further into the uh, master suite, we walk into, through a pocket door, a large closet. This closet is about six by, oh, 16 feet. The green pipe there, that is going to be access for air conditioning. The air conditioner will be overhead in this closet. Above this closet. Then we go through another pocket door system into a uh, laundry. The laundry will have rooms, three, three windows facing north and west. The washer and dryer will be right here. You'll be able to exit the, the master suite over here also through a three-foot door into the dining room. Into the dining room. So there's actually two doors into the master suite. Okay, let's go over to the south side of the house where we can see the uh, the guest suite. The guest suite will be entered through this door. This will be a pocket door. When it is closed, the guest suite is completely independent. Entering the guest suite, on your right there will be steps here that will go up to the attic. They go up to a landing and then up again and then up 10 feet overhead into the attic. To the left in the, in the guest suite is a large bathroom with a walk-in shower. Again, it'll be handicapped, accessible, no threshold. There will be a window in the shower 
the window will be closed by plantation shutters. Here's the toilet in the, in the guest suite and a double lavatory sink. Moving farther into the guest suite, there'll be a large southeast corner bedroom with one, two, three, four windows. If we come farther into the guest bedroom one, you'll see a large walk-in closet. Again, these closets are 10 feet high. There'll be shelves up in there. After that, you go into guest room two. And guest room two is, is southwest facing with two south windows and two west windows. Again, a large closet right here that is 10 feet high and will have shelves in it. Okay, as we leave the guest suite, right here we could slide the pocket door away and close it and the guest suite would be private. Lastly, we'll exit the house through this eight foot tall door and we are on the uh, back porch. I teased Nancy that this would be an excellent carport. It will be 10 feet wide, 60 feet long, and we could easily drive, oh, three motorhomes like our motorhome on here. I told her we wouldn't have to keep that metal building up there then. So we leave the house, we're looking west, this is where Nancy plans to have a pool and there will be a three-car garage here. The driveway will come up on the south side. And we'll exit down to the street between those trees. The back of the house looks very much like the front of the house and the sides look like each other also. All the windows are the same size. They are three feet by six feet. They will all have plantation shutters on. Upstairs in the attic, there will also be four windows with plantation shutters on it. That will just simply be a plywood floor and it will be storage. So later on someone wishes they could put more bedrooms up there but it's not going to be in our bag thank you for taking the tour goodbye